Come on in. Come on. We're doing the Macarena. We're lighting up Palo Santo. We're cleaning the energy. Everybody, come on in. I was playing the Macarena. Do you remember the Macarena? Oh, let's do a Palo Santo Macarena dance. Aloha. Ooh, Alexa, stop. You guys, I'm feeling a little giddy today. I don't know why. I think the mood is lightening in the world. I think the mood is just kind of lightening in the world a little, isn't it? If, if we get a good result on the trial that took place today. It's what I'm praying for. Please find, you know who guilty and like throw the book at them. The evidence is there. That's all I want to say. That's all I want to say. Oh, the Macarena was your jam? Oh, that's fantastic. Listen, everybody, I'm going to wait till more people come in and then I'm going to say this too. Ooh, ooh there's a lot of, ooh, we're clearing a lot of bad energy here tonight. I don't like to call it bad energy. I want to call it funky energy. It's like funky, like my hair. My hair is funky today. Um, so I wanted to say something because I had so many like really great reactions to that picture. That was Stud Muffin that was promoting my show tonight. And uh, that was him like when I met him. Actually, I was pregnant with my oldest son when he took that picture. That was back in the day, like 30 odd years ago where they did something called boudoir pictures. That was a big thing <laughs> in the late, when was that? Late 80s, early 90s. That was a boudoir photo. Do I sage my crystals? You know what I like to do with the crystals? I put them in like a strainer and I run them under like salt water. I put some salt in them and I run it under like a water thing like that and I let them dry out in the sun. So, but we like to clear funk. Okay, so anyway, that was Stud Muffin back in a boudoir photo. <laughs> And I thought, next week, he, I tried to get him out here so you could see that was like the before and after, after 30 plus years of hell living with me, but uh, he didn't want to come out. So I'm going to find a picture and do it up next week of what he looks like now, because some of you are so curious. You're all so curious. How is everybody? Um, go ahead. Oh, I've got a lot of viewers. Tonight. I think that Sud Muffin was a good... He brought in a lot of people. Go ahead and start asking me questions. Tonight, I'm using the Tara Mucha. If you asked last week, please be kind. Ooh, my hair is really funking up, um, but I love it. I cut, I cut it off. When you, This is a great thing to do. Oh, this is what I wanna tell you guys. Number one, get a haircut. Do it now. If you've been growing your hair through the pandemic, what a great time to just like just cut it off right before summer. It's really good anyway, because it's like clearing all the negative energy. Again, I'm using the word negative. I don't like to use, I don't like to say that word. It's like a, it's like a four letter word, although that's got one, two, three, four. It's got two, it's like an eight letter word. So it's like two, four letter words. Um, but what you want to do is it, it reinvigorates you when you just chop, chop your hair. Okay. So that's it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Um, okay. So Let's see, yeah, if you're thinking about a haircut, do it. And the other thing that I ask as I answer your questions tonight is last week I told you I'll call somebody you haven't talked to for a while and check in on them. Today when you're out and about, and I'm gonna ask you to do this this week, walk up to someone who helps you, even if it's a person bagging your groceries or just someone who helps you in some way and say, thank you and you look great today. How's your day going? It's like talk to a random stranger who's providing a service for you. Just go, I really appreciate what you did because we don't know what people are going through, but it'll open up something, you know? That's good. Okay, so I'm gonna go take the first question that I see as I go down here. Oh, oh I'll go back up. Let's see. Is, oh, Niels Julian, is Columbia a viable, oh, whoa. <laughs> I guess that's a no, Neil. Is Columbia a viable option for you? And the thing just flew over, or maybe it's a great option for you. Let's pull a card and find out. And then be kind, be kind, give a, be kind to a stranger. Yes, it's totally, look at that. I got the star card for you. It's very viable. I love it for you because you like to look at the stars. You like to be free. It's like, this is like a good place. I see you climbing when you go there. I actually see you meeting like, I, I don't know if you're involved in a relationship. I haven't talked to you for years, but 
There's a lot of options there for you. My answer is yes. My answer is yes. Go, go, go. Decima, oh, you write me the nicest note, so I'm gonna pull a card for you. This card is for you. You know, I only put this on to cover my bat wings. So I'm looking at it, I'm going, whoa, that's, this is leftover from the 90s. Decima, ooh, look, balance, look. Look at that, temperance and balance. When I get in your energy, I have to calm everybody down here. Let's get in, let's focus on Decima's energy. Very calm, very, you bring calm and balance to people. When the world is chaotic, you help them through the chaos. This is what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to be very much of a helper in the world and you're doing that. And I started talking softly when I connected to you because sometimes you feel like you don't know if you're following the right direction or like which direction to go here or there, here or there. So what you have to do is just calm the funk down and just listen, 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 and you'll get there. That's what your message is. I love it. Um, okay, so should I be worried, BB17, should I be worried about a person who keeps contacting me? It's an ex, also I appreciate it. You appreciate my answering the question or you appreciate the ex contacting you? I do not want an ex contacting me if it was like, uh, if you're worried about it. Why would you be worried about it? <laughs> this is what I think. This is what I think. Should you be worried about it? This is the magician. I, I think about that energy of that ex and I think that they're being very clever. And I think that we need to set boundaries, right? Like you got to tell people, if you don't want somebody in your field of energy, just go get Get the, get, get the F out. Can I say fuck here? I was just say, get the fuck out. I don't want you in my energy. You can block callers, you can do things, but you know, you, it's funny that you wrote that BB 17 because you said also I appreciate it. And I know you are writing to me, but it followed that thought. I'm looking at that. I don't think you need to be worried about anything because I think that you're like a chameleon and you can change, you can change the way you look or you, you seem to be a, like a quick change artist. Like you can change things up and you know what to do. I wouldn't be worried about that person, no. That's my feeling, because I'm not getting anything here about it. Um, that's it, that's just move on, just keep moving. Just run, run like the wind, <laughs> you'll be fine. I always say you'll be fine, whoa, whoa, look at what just happened again. Oh my God, you guys are seeing what I see. This is so funny, I don't know how to get, how do I get back? Look at just what happened, oh my God. Look at what just happened. Will I get approved for my permanent residency application this year? That is a future question and I can't answer, I won't answer questions like that. I, we can only hope. Everybody, let's send positive energy to, let's send positive energy to Morning Dew and just go, yes, she's gonna get approved. Yes, she's gonna get approved. Yes, she's gonna get approved. Just that's, don't think anything, but put, put that yes towards it. And if you don't, keep applying because someday there will be a yes. Someday there is, and hopefully it's this year. And you need to, I just saw a big initial H around you. Is there somebody with initial H around you? I don't know, this I look. Yes, we're all gonna say yes for, yes for her, yes, yes. If you asked me last week, I'm not going to pull a card for you this week. Yes, yes, this is my acronym. Yes, yes, yes. It's like Meg Ryan in, in When Harry Met Sally. I love that movie. Um, Alara Hundre, I'm going to start college in the fall. Any advice? Yes, any advice? Any advice for starting college in the fall? Just be prepared to put on 15 pounds. Like I, well, if I, like me, I have 30 pounds. But, but just be prepared. Advice. Oh, this is a star card. It's coming up a lot. Second time that came up with balance. You know, that's been coming up a lot in sessions with my clients, that star card, because something's going on because you guys, you've all been manifesting. Like this is a great time for positive thoughts, positive energy. We're going through this shift in the world, this 5D ascension thing. And there could be a lot of like, you know, there's like all that yucky stuff out there, but we have to stay up here. And when we stay up here, we get this. So the star card, the star card for me is, have a write down what you want to accomplish and then have fun four years of college is fun don't get so bogged down and stuff you're getting to go study what you love hopefully do you know that i wanted to be a forensic psychiatrist <laughs> that's what i wanted to do i went to college to major in forensics i wanted to be like a csi person i wanted to be a psychiatrist i was trying to understand the criminal mind 
And here I am, years later, with a successful practice talking to people with criminal minds. It's like, it's crazy, right? It was like mind work. I went to that, and then I switched to journalism because I discovered, oh, observation. I love to observe. And then I switched to film. I went and to film and journalism so that I could be a film critic, which is, that's on the back burner for me still. So you see, there's so many things in life and so many journeys. So just follow, follow the path. It gets windy and it gets like this, but follow it. And here I am now. Okay, so I'm going to take this question here. Um, hey, Shirley, I my left eye has been twitching. I feel something bad happens when this happens. Do you have any idea what this is in relation to? I don't know. What do you think? That's a popular thing that I like to say. Here's a card for you. This is about you. The world, right? Reentry anxiety. Isn't everybody having that a little bit? Like going out into the world and being a little scared after we've been isolated. So I think you're feeling a little of that. Also, I would try cutting down the caffeine and switch to if you like arrowhead water. Oh, I just got a I just got a ding on that. I like that. I got a ding on it. I think it's related to anxiety. And I think that you should not be afraid of going out in the world. Just take a tiny step and when you go out in the world, do what I asked all of you, what I suggested is go and spread a little compliment. Just tell one person, like, thank you, thank you. Oh, you look so beautiful today. Oh, wow, what a scarf that, what a beautiful scarf that is. Or I like your earrings. Or, you know, especially if it's a guy. I love men with earrings. Oh, my God. I put an earring on my thing, a stud muffin, but he won't get his ears pierced. He won't get anything pierced for me. But well, that's another story. Okay. Um, S Jewel 429. Hi, Shirley. I've been in a funk and feeling stuck. Any guidance card you can offer? Oh, this is where we come to calm the funk down. This is a this is happening and this is what you need to know. Whenever life is like a roller coaster, I'm gonna pull a card for you, but sometimes we do feel funky, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's like being human. You're gonna feel that, right? So let yourself feel it. Sit in that shit. Just breathe it in and then a shift will happen. See, you got the ding on it. So just don't be afraid of being stuck. That's like where there's great material, except next time you get stuck, take a little pen. This is what I do for clients. I write this thing called the download before sessions, but take a little pen and paper and sit there and figure out what's going on and ask yourself questions. Why am I in this funk? What can I do to, oh, I might make a phone call and get out of myself. I might tell somebody that they look lovely today. I might move on. This is the big thing for you that's asking that question, I forgot your your name already, That, but you won't. Um, <laughs> SJ Jewel, move on, keep going. One foot in front of the other. When you feel stuck, sit in it. Like I said, sit and wait for the shift. And then if you feel like you actually physically can't move, but your higher self can move, just go, just go. Take a drive, take a drive. You like to drive, huh? Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna go take another question. <laughs> I'm gonna take another question. You guys are having fun in here. Can I pull a, a card for my, can, hi Shirley, can you pull a card for my love life? I almost said, can I pull a, I'm gonna pull a card for my, oh my God, I'm in here like every Monday and I never ask my, a question for me. I'm gonna pull a card for my love life. Uh-oh, let's see. Because I did put that thing in stud muffin. Oh, ooh. ooh. I pulled two cards. This is, oh, look, that's me and Stud Muffin. That's a strength card. This is what he does. He gives me strength. He's my lion. This is the other one, surrender. He does anything I want him to do. Not really, but we, yeah, but really. I mean, it's a long time. He's hard of hearing. Yeah. Not really, but that's what happens when you've been with somebody for a long time. All of a sudden, they start to go deaf, even though they're not actually deaf, but they act like they're deaf. Okay, can I pull a card for your love life, Sarah C? Yes. You guys want to know more about my personal life, don't you? Here's a card for your love life. The lovers. Look at that. I love that. Sarah C., you know what that tells me? If you're not in a relationship, you've made yourself available to be in a relationship. And I'm playing with my hair because maybe you do that. Like, oh, like I'm presentable. I'm attractive. You are. You're beautiful. You're glowing from the inside. Do you want to have kids or something? There's a glow going on there. Like, oh, do you ever think that the for those of you that want to have kids, that the baby that's going to come through is like a, a glowing already and they can help attract who, you, who you're supposed to be with? I believe that. Okay. So that's what I see. You've been hair obsessed, Sarah. 
<laughs> yeah, because I was playing with my hair a lot. And I'm moving around a lot. I think your love life is amazing. And if it's not now, like I said, that was the lover's card. How can I do better? You know how you can do better, actually? Love yourself first. Love yourself first. Okay, so um, Monica Esther, can I have a card pulled for my boyfriend and I? If you asked me last week, I will not be pulling cards for you this week. I kind of remember some of you are asking. And, and so, but you can book a session with me, shirleylipner.com slash contact. Or I think I have the reference in mind. Okay, here's a card pulled for your boyfriend and you, Monica Esther. <gasps> Okay, he gets you. That was the mother card. Do you see this? That's the empress. He gets you. He gets you. I like it. And the mother card is also, that's me talking about the baby. <gasps> like, that's like, oh my God. Like, if you wanted to have a kid with him or something like that, like maybe the baby puts you together. Do you guys ever think about that stuff? Because we think about being infinite beings and where we come from. And like, I think about my two kids and how they're meant to be here. And I think, well, I kind of wasn't meant to have my mother, but I've reconciled it. I've reconciled it. And now I say I was, right? I see that I was. So, yeah, I love you and your boyfriend. Yes, I think it's great. That's what I want to say. You two, you keep it up. You stay together. Oh, look at all these people joining. Okay, I'm going to, I'm scrolling up now to take a question. I would, Reese Boy, you're asking me the future. The future, listen. The future is written in number two pencil. It is not written in ink. So anything that I say, although one of my clients told me that I told him last year that I wanted to start a company that did designer masks before COVID because I felt like people should have masks that had sequins. I'm like, I don't know why I'm saying that. And there it was. I said, I didn't say that because I never remember anything, but I said it. So maybe I should do a thing for you, for Reese, for the future. For the future, let's see. Let's see, I, I wish I could see these things later because I scroll through it and I see deliberate manifestations that said someone is here with me and I think I know who it is. So yeah, I've had a lot of visitors. I have a lot of visitors lately. Okay, what's in the future for my life this year? Oh my God, we have to stop there. I'm hoping that um, I was thinking about my really good friend Edwin I was talking about last week who I did not get to talk to so much in the months prior to his passing a couple of weeks ago and I've been feeling his energy definitely because I think he's visiting everybody. What's in the future for my life this year, Reese boy? Ooh, strength. Now, usually a Reese boy, I would say that's a partner because that's what that looks like in there, but I think you're gonna have something major happen in August that is gonna be really wonderful for you. So I would start planning and writing and doing all that little manifesting that I love. I don't like the word manifest so much, but it's just like, just see it, just walk towards it. And there's something really, there's, that's, that's just what I see, a year of change, a year of a lot of the color blue. I see the color blue around you. Maybe it's the ocean. Maybe you should walk on the ocean. Well, I have to walk into the kitchen to make dinner. <laughs> so thank you. And oh, wow, I just talked about Edwin and his wife just texted me. I just want to say that because we brought that energy in. So that's really kind of cool. It's how life works. Just, just listen. Just listen, be kind, say something wonderful to a stranger, whatever it is, look at them and find the one thing. There's always something you can compliment about somebody. Even if you look at someone, you go, oh, there's nothing that I could say to that person. There's always something that you can say and say it and mean it, mean it. Sincerity is so important. I love you guys so much. You're gonna see this up on YouTube. Somebody is writing me on YouTube and asking me to do a thing there. Um, I don't know, to do lives there. I don't know if you guys can write me and tell me if you think I should do that. But this will be on IGTV too. Okay, love you and see you next Monday at 7 p.m. Bye.